Okay, so uh, <laughs> I just ran into the most hilarious bug I've ever seen. Uh, you might notice this house is all decked out. Look at this. Wow. Oops. Oh, look, there's a um, May 2 grade weapons in here. Huh? What? Okay, for some freaking reason, this house transferred over from my other playthrough to this save file. I literally started a new game. I don't, you can see, name was zero. I started the slave start. And yet, this house, which I bought in my other playthrough and loaded up, is here in this playthrough. And I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do with this at this point. Alright, so I've imported, hopefully now, yep, sure enough, there's the building all destroyed now. Yeah, that was the weirdest bug I'd ever seen, and I didn't want it to give us an unfair advantage. This was supposed to be just a, a clean new playthrough, you know. Let's see, here we go. Cool. Back to strength training we go. Hey, one thing I just noticed, they've got their horns back. Well, good for them, I guess. I'll just say they grew back. <laughs> so apparently if you import, they get their horns back. Yeah, so if you ever run into a weird bug like that where you get a uh, building from a different save file, just import it and make sure you click... Well... <laughs> That being said, we didn't have any buildings, but I clicked the, you know, don't import buildings check mark, and that, that's what helped us here. That being said, though, if you do have other buildings, those will get destroyed too, so I guess just uh, pick it with a grain of salt. Yeah, the problem was uh, it was making us constantly run resources back, which is not at all what we wanted. Even if I unchecked uh, the AI ditch, ditch items, it's weird. That's okay. So it does uh, greatly reduce the amount of. There we go. So see now, now he's at 39 and I'm right. We 
may want to build just a really simple building so that we could at least like we might even just use the same building but like I don't want it cheaply but yeah um, you know rebuild this building here and put in a, like an iron and a copper storage just so we could mine and they would bring it back automatically although I don't know if we really want to do copper so I don't know even that it's like iron we could just get it as we need it uh, we could just sort of put a, a chest somewhere oh yeah thinking of speaking of um, we could just use one of these mods that I do love very much the extend campsite mod which uh, lets you build a campsite that is not detected as an outpost now you do need to buy a blueprint or research to get most of the blueprints but for a storage you can just uh, you can just build it so see I just need one building material and I could just kinda drop them all here this could be our little iron storage which is really convenient obviously they won't run it back automatically but at very least this would be a nice place for us to uh, put our iron we need to train. It's just one building material too, which I, I honestly can afford right now. So let's see here. So right now Torlin can grab all this. <clears throat> it's Torlin, right? Yep, okay. And if he switches this, there we go. Now he's at 54%. So yeah, he'll get some strength training. We do need to get some bodies because without bodies it's going to be um, slower. You can only have a 25% experience gain um, without carrying someone or an animal or something. But if we um, if we carry one, it goes all the way up to 50% gain. So, let's see, and I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, practice sneak and strength real quick while we wait for the door to open. There we go. Oh, where are you going? Bud? Oh yeah, he's cut his top back to it. Yeah, we just need uh, one building material, please. Which I hope I can carry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, actually I don't need anything, sorry. Okay, we might just have to, whoops. I don't want to do that. I just have to go like this. There we go. Cool. Oh yeah, and I, I did want to look and see that extended campsite blueprint is very, very helpful. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, see, but that's a 5,000. There it is, though. There's more... Uh, Thieves backpack. This one's a small. That is dust bandits. You actually probably want to go fight those guys. Get a jump start on us and go start fighting them. Wow, that's a lot of them. Quite a big group. They do have two, three, three crossbowmen, but I think we would be fine. I'm just gonna have one help him really quick and they'll go together. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna actually have him. I think the wooden backpack is really going to be more for <clears throat> training. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay. And then, um, throw all that in there. They are ready to go fight the bandits. He 
go, man. I don't know how I lost in there. That was weird. First priorities first, take out the crossbowman. Nice, there goes his arm. Now he's got his fighting stats up in like 40 area. Yeah, they nothing. They nothing. Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. That's right. Yeah. Take our life from the side. Dare you. Looks like he found someone. I don't know. Okay. He's a tripping. <coughs> Sweet. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now we can get some money. That's about all he can hold. I think weapons are probably the. Well, no, I don't know about that. Well, definitely the, the crossbows. Alright, that, and then we'll just grab somebody who has all their stuff. He's got pretty much all of it. Um, oh yeah, we got our bodies now, nice. For our strength painting. So let's pick him up. We'll go. Personally, I don't know if I really want to carry around dead bodies, considering that they attract flies, and it's just kind of annoying. All right, sweet. So he pat. Oh no, he did not patch up the dust boss. You guys sure? <sighs> All right. Ah. Oh. Since we're strength training right now. Or that's our next goal. Not too interested in getting beat up for toughness, so we're just going martial arts on these kids. I guess one thing that's kind of cool about the heart protector is that it has no cut resist efficiency, it's just pure cut resistance which if you're you know high toughness that's actually really good I think I might have finally found a use for the heart protector wow it just occasionally blocks damage to the chest actually that's really good if it has full cut resistance wow okay well boys I think we found ourselves a 
gosh. No, I didn't mean to close that. Oh, but... No! Okay, alright. That I count as a... Stupid... That's the kind of thing I'll reload for. Stupid misclicks and bugs. I will not reload for a character death. That was just dumb. Thankfully, I save a lot. Like, he's T-posing on top. I like it. It's like a vertical plank, you know? Alright. But yeah, honestly, that's why it's good they did not implement a strict Iron Man in this game. Because it's better to play self-imposed Iron Man. Considering the amount of bugs that could potentially screw up the playthrough for you. That, or silly misclicks that don't make a lot of sense. So, for instance, like this. You close this door, and then you will never never legally be able, able to open that door again. They're not going to open it. I, I don't know, I think maybe like once a day they might open it. You have to wait 24 hours or whatever. It's really, really dumb. Uh, but, I mean, of course you could pick the lock. But then that's illegal. And I'm not exactly trying to bust my relationship with them. So it's just a silly thing. Stuff like that. There are some silly things in the game. And you know what? You just you just deal with it. It's okay. Let's trade. To be honest, we might just keep a heart protector on. Considering that it, it blocks with full cut resistance, it's actually not bad for someone with high toughness. Alright, someone is calling me, hold up. I was just butt dialed twice, not even just once. Someone butt dialed me twice. That's honestly kind of impressive. <laughs> not even mad, I'm impressed. Alright, but yeah, yeah, okay, so, okay. Let's uh, take another piece of armor for, exa for example here. Okay, so like this stuff, right? The um, armored rag skirt. It has 25% cut resistance, it blocks 60% of the time on both legs, um, and it has a 90% cut resistance efficiency. The reason why you want either high cut resistance efficiency or complete cut resistance efficiency, what is happening? Oh, okay, Hungry Bandit, okay. I was like... What is going on? I thought we were being attacked. No, we're good. He's like, sorry about that. Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. With this dust bandit standing firmly on our shoulders. <laughs> um, continue to explain the armor thing here. Okay. Um, like, say for instance, okay. You have your armored rag skirt, right? Blocks uh, both legs 60% of the time and it has a cut resistance of 25%, which means 60% of the time, your legs will be blocked by 25% of cut resistance. However, the cut resistance efficiency is only 90%, which means that 10% uh, of that 25% is gonna go through without any more uh, resistances applied. So you look at the heart protector and it does not list a cut resistance efficiency. And that, that's because it's at 100%. So that means that whatever cut resistance it blocks, it completely blocks. So that means 50% of the time, you're going to be blocked 20% uh, cut resistance and 8% blood. So, I mean, half the time, you're taking less damage. And that's, uh, that's without any penalties of, of uh, stun damage from the cut resistance um, efficiency. Same thing with uh, these boots, actually, the samurai boots. They don't have a cut, a cut resistance efficiency. So, honestly, that's pretty great. I didn't know that about all this stuff. It's good to see because, um, like, take for instance, okay, we have this ninja gi, right? Um, and I don't really need this. It's not actually doing anything for me. So I'll sell it. And these will actually give me a little bit of resistance some of the time. And it gives me a melee defense bonus. And there's no detriment. It also blocks some harpoon damage. So, I mean, I'll just have my guys wear them. There's no reason not to.
beautiful. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that it had a 100% uh, cut resistance efficiency. Beautiful. Look at that. See? So, you know, people mine copper. Look at this. I fought some dust bandits. I got 4,000. That's, that's what I'm saying about... Um, you don't need to just mine copper if you don't want to. If you want to, that's fine. I had a playthrough where I basically ran a business and we had multiple copper veins just cranking out copper. You know, people automatically taking it back because we had uh, copper storages. In that instance, yeah, sure, you know, play your business, man. But if you want to adventure and you want to... Look, look I got 7K. <laughs> I see, if you want to just be an adventurer and you don't want to mess with any of that, just do this. It's, it's really just... It's just nice. All right, so now that we've got some money... Let's see. Okay, okay. Now that we, now we've got uh, like seven thousand, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna come back out here. I'm gonna put them both on their job. Who's this? Oh, he wants a bag check, huh? He goes to great lengths for this. I'm even. I'm gonna. I'm gonna argue with him too, just because he came all this way. I mean, I, I'll give it to him that he's persistent. Insult. Why disrobe your fellow kin, sister? Hmm. You're an outsider, no shuck warrior. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> all right, guys. I am back, and the boys here have finished getting a good amount of iron. So let's see here. So the key here is you want to have a body over your shoulder and you want 71% encumbrance. Should be right around uh, 59. See how it says uh, I have 35% strength XP right there? I'm going for 50. That's the highest you can get it. Only problem is the backpack lowers encumbrance, which generally is a good thing. Not when you're trying to have a lot of weight on you. So I, I might only be able to get right about there. Orlin, on the other hand, closes the backpack. And he's only going to have 52. Oh, he's got, I don't know, 52. That's not good enough. So honestly, the boys might just have to go back to work real quick. <clears throat> Keep cranking out iron. Hmm. True. Sure. Pick this up here. Range. It's only at 62. Seventy-one percent. That's exactly where we want it. Nice. See that? Now, Borland. Is actually... Borland's almost there. Is it 70%? But you notice, 49% at 70%. So the ideal encumbrance is 71%, but you also have to have a body on your back. That's the other thing about it. All right. So for now, this is going to be enough iron for us. Turn those jobs off and get running. Squint is a little bit like an athletics arena because there's a big old road that just runs all the way in a circle around it. For some reason, their run was not set to match. So yeah, if you guys have ever wondered about the run speed, um, you know, the adjustable run speed here. Uh, so this is walk, this is jog, this is sprint as fast as you can, and this one is keep pace with the others in the same like group. So like if you're giving a movement command to two different people, this is the, um, the command that will get them to stay at the same pace. They're getting hungry, and I don't want them to be hungry Hunger comes with stat penalties, and we don't want that. So we're going to go back to town. We're still training up our strength. 
Look at that. Boom. It's it's going fast too. 37, 36. They're actually staying right about the same rate with uh, with strength. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Let's see, so we need food. There's that bar there. I'll just go to this bar over here. So I was already passing it. I love that they got uh, shop counters working again. That was one of the things with the, the 1.0. It was actually, I think, a little bit right before 1.0. I'm just going to honestly grab... No, let's do meat wraps, because meat wraps are just better. There we go. They each ate one, and they each have one for backup. What do you want? Oh. Thought they were trying to talk to us. Oh my gosh. See, there's that left side track, but then there's also this one that goes around to the right side. Yeah, I've noticed. So, <clears throat> interestingly enough, a lot of you guys, if you played Kenshi, which you probably have if you're watching this video, um, you probably mostly, if not all of you, started in the hub area, the borderlands here, border zone. Um, my first playthrough, I actually played in the Great Desert up here. Uh, Shobatai was where I started, a, a city in the Great Desert. And uh, that was a totally different experience, uh, starting out a playthrough there. But um, I think they've either reduced the chance of, of other spawn points in the, in the Wanderer start, or they've put it strictly only to spawn at the hub area. Um, because every time I've tried to do a Wanderer start recently, uh, it's put me at the hub area. Which, honestly, the hub was designed to be like the start area, so it makes sense. Shobatai definitely had its its uh, its more real dangers. Skimmers and um, slavers kind of everywhere. But uh, my characters made it. They, they focus on economy first and then combat later, and it worked out for them. Obviously, this playthrough is very different than that one long ago. Um, but this is very enjoyable. I honestly, I love the Shuck. I fell in love with them. I think in my last playthrough, um, they're just a great race. Like, they're very strong. The the 125 health is is so much more significant than you would think. And since they their only detriments are really like experience gains, it's not that big of a deal. Plus, they get some nice experience gains as well. So I, I just I love the Shuck. They get all um, all the armor slots and everything. go by here so you notice uh, the encumbrance is going down and that's because now we're at 39 strength so the more that you get, train your strength the more weight you're gonna need to be at that level um, I say we go ahead and get to 40 strength and then we will go back and mine some more iron the uh, the most effective resource in the game for training strength is generator cores. Uh, generator cores, not power cores, mind you. There's two different items. Um, generator cores are amazing because they they weigh like a crap ton, and um, therefore they're really good for training strength. Let's see. So Torland's at 66, and Borland's at 58. So thankfully, she so got 40 laboring and 34 laboring. They, they spent some time doing a little bit of labor, uh, no, just fighting in Rebirth. This poor guy on his shoulder has no left arm and no right leg. And yeah, this whole standing up thing is just a bug. It's pretty funny. I, I don't really care enough. If you put him down and pick him back up, I think it fixes it, but I, I just don't care. It's just kind of funny. It's whatever. He's like standing on his head as he works. He's got one hand holding <laughs> He's balanced on one leg on top of his basket hat. <laughs> it's pretty great. See, I mean, it just adds more enjoyment to the game. Why take that away, you know? <laughs> Alright, what's he at now? He's at 65%. Then encumbrance reduction is normally a good thing. Normally a very good thing. But, in this instance, it's not. I mean, that being said, you can carry a crap ton of raw iron in a wooden backpack because it stacks. 
That much is really good. Let's see, let's arrange that. I think we can carry more. That was a weird way to arrange it. <laughs> yeah, so you notice all these count as stolen, so they don't stack. Normally they would stack in um, like this kind of a backpack, but uh, they wouldn't stack because they're considered stolen, so they keep each one separate. Um, one thing that's very interesting is if you have a Metacrate and you put the uh, basic first aid kits, whatever, any type of first aid in there, it uh, is no longer counted as stolen, and that, therefore they'll stack. And so, like, see, this one's like lower. If you have another one that's lower, they'll actually combine. So it's really efficient. Uh, Metacrates are actually a really great item. Building, I should say. Alright, we are almost there. I definitely want to gear this series, um, well, two things. For one thing, I mean, it is long episodes, I know, 30 minutes, uh, that's, you know, a bit of a long time for, for a YouTube video, most videos nowadays are like 10 minutes, but, um, a lot of kinchy content creators have been releasing, like, longer videos, and I just kind of find it something nice to just kind of put on in the background and enjoy, and also, I mean, you can, uh, keep track of their story, it's fun, and not just their story, but, uh, oftentimes you can learn a lot. And that's something that I want to try to provide with my videos, is um, this game does not have a lot of information out there. It just doesn't. Um, it's newer, it has a very uh, niche community, and uh, I think that out of, you know, our small community, there are these veterans, uh, like myself, that have got about 400 something hours on this game. It, you know, we've got some knowledge about this game. And uh, I'd like to just help people along, you know, meet a need. One thing that I do really hope I can show um, viewers, especially like new time Kinchi players, you you can iron, like, I'm oh, sorry, iron, you can mine copper if you want to, but you don't have to. There's a lot of other things you can do. You, like, I used to think that the only way to get money early on, really the only way to survive, because man, you gotta eat and stuff, is to mine copper, but it's just not the case. Like, this guy. It's about that time. Thanks guys for watching, and have a wonderful day.